Hello, my name is Nancy Mendoza. Hello, Your Honor and ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We are here today, case number 5671965 in the matter of the state of Texas against John Doe. And we have a lot of factual evidence against us today or for us today, might I state. Um, we have many attorneys who have brought forth evidence we have witnesses and then myself i need to recap on the situation in hand um the topic of the day is going to be arson arson has been around since the 18th century it even goes back to the australian ab aboriginals um they use something called fire stick farming which they would actually do good with their fire and they would um, burn the soil in hopes of growing um, thriving crops and providing for their community that would be what you considered a really good act in use of fire however many people twist that around and really use fire for the worst um, now arson is going to be anything of self-destruction whether it hurts somebody else or yourself and the community around you and it is a very very um, ser serious crime. So the topic today that we are going to speak about is going to be arson. Um, now, where do I even begin? Um, arson is going to be the burning of things um, for one's enjoyment, but the downside of that is going to be death, um, harm, injury, and just the overall destruction of people and property and Texas, where I reside, we, that's, that's just a really big no-no. So, however, um, there might be some circumstances where arson can get out of hand and somebody does it in the sense of good and something goes wrong. For instance, say, um, I do know where I'm from, we are allowed to burn trash in the country. Um, now being that we, I do live in West Texas, sometimes with the wind and dirt, it does get out of hand and I can see how a simple fire would, you know, go off in flames. So there are certain circumstances that, um, could subside for this, but all in all, arson is a wrong act and, um, it is no condoned here in the state of Texas. Now, the crazy thing about this, the first arsonist was John Orr. He was a fire captain. Um, he was an investigator. And um, he was overall a good guy. A lot of people looked up to him. He was from Southern California. But he turned out to be the first arsonist, um, the first serial arsonist. And he was actually charged with four counts of attempted murder. That, so that just goes to show you um, that... You can be the best person and still really commit wrongful acts. It's just really going to be how you use um, fire and how it is going to be considered in a court of law. Um, arson is very much a crime. Um, it does harm lots of things. It can harm you. It can harm um, the people around you. It can harm your community. It can harm national parks, um, regular parks, cities, buildings, and it can really take away from the livelihood of somebody. Um, burns, third degree burns, um, death. People can lose loved ones. It's just a really, really bad situation and something that we want to stay away from. Um, I am from Texas, so here in the state of Texas, um, you can have a first degree felony. It uh, is actually going to be the damage or destruction to any place of worship or the bodily injury resulting in death. A first degree felony for this, you're going to be facing anywhere from five years to life in prison. A uh, third degree felony is going to be related to more of substance manufacturing. Now, this is going to be, we have a lot of people who manufacture drugs in homes or in small buildings and something goes wrong and it blows up and it causes death to um, themselves or the people around them or even a community that they might be in. And this can be serious, serious charges. This is going to be a third degree felony and up to two to 10 years in prison. The last I want to talk to is going to be the circumstances of, um, for instance, if it is 
unintentional and you do set a fire and it does kill somebody, this still could be considered manslaughter and you would still be sentenced um, to maybe state jail. You might only get a misdemeanor or one to two years, but you still will get jail time. And I appreciate you guys for hearing my case and let's just stick away from arson because it can kill you and we need to do best for um, us and our state.